And so well, what is my biggest gripe with road shoes? My biggest gripe is we, we lose function for fashion. Right? We lose function for fashion. The road shoes are a bit skinny, it's a little bit swanky and wanky and clicky and uh, We lose function for fashion. Fuck that. I want maximum function. Fashion, optional. Function, essential. Give me any product that actually fucking works over wanky shit that doesn't work, all right? Any day. I'm of the age now, I don't give a fuck about fashion. I want something that fucking works and lets me be fit as fuck and doesn't hold me back. And mountain bike shoes, they do that. So there you go, that is the absolute truth. Those mountain bike shoes, mountain bike pedals. I do have road shoes. I've had custom road shoes. I have, as you can see, uh, money is no object when it comes to bike stuff. I'll, I'll get whatever I want to get. Um, and uh, the reality is, mountain bike shoe, that's all you need. I even got a bit of foam mull in there. These bonds, apparently these are fake. I actually bought these from a local store in Australia, but apparently they are still fake, but they're still working pretty good. I can t I've been told they're fake by some in the industry because the upper was such poor quality. Even though the carbon was really good. Um, show the other one. So these are fake bonds, apparently. Allegedly fake bonds. Bought them locally, but after two years, they're still going. The upper's pretty cooked. I glued it up a lot of times, but the sole still stiff as. So it is, uh, Bond is my favorite shoe, wide. Even the fake ones, like these. I paid maybe 350 bucks or whatever it was, local price. Um, but yeah, so the, the Bond is my favorite because it's nice and wide. And uh, Shimano make a good shoe. City make a good shoe. They also do vegan options as well. So plastic versus leather. The latest Bonds have the Boa dial. I do, I do enjoy the Boa dial as found on the Shimano, I think it's XCR9, it's what Tori uses. If you notice, all my girlfriends always put on mountain bike shoes, never road shoes, because it's like, road shoes are actually dangerous, slipping around, falling over. It, they're good for the professionals, but every single second counts. You know, you, the sprint stages are won by that much, all right? That much. So, and they're people on the best drugs, the best training, the full-time regime. So if you're coming, if you're on the best drugs in the world, you're the lean as fuck, you're push, pushing out 400 watts again and again, as long as you want, and you losing races or winning races by that much then maybe okay i get it the 20 gram saving of a road shoe or, or pedal system or whatever 100 grams whatever it is can be depends on how much money you spend then yeah i agree but otherwise man nobody nobody on the planet is getting dropped because they had mountain bike shoes i mean look at chris Froome in the juro <laughs> just dominating mate dominating so people for me if i see someone using a road shoe thinking they're gonna get extra performance i'm like that person is quite a noob they're quite a noob. If the person's getting dropped and they're blank on their mountain bike shoes, the person's quite a noob. Get, not all, not all shoes are created equal, okay? Someone might get a mountain bike shoe for the first time ever, it's flexy as fuck, it's like a running shoe. And then they get a road shoe that's stiff, like, oh, wear a road shoe, it feels better. Yeah, of course it's gonna feel better. Not because it's a road shoe, it's because it was a stiffer shoe. So you want something with some stiffness. You got these Bonds, even Specialized, make a good mountain bike shoe, Specialized, CD, Shimano. Bond, top four, you know? And try one and get something that's stiff, a stiff mountain bike shoe with a uh, Velcro upper. No, don't get laces, because laces get caught in your chain. And you know, get the buckles, the, or the, but, but my favorite is the Boa dials, because you really fine tune that micro adjustment, all right? There you go, so that's the truth about road mountain bike shoes. Some people are gonna get triggered as fuck, and leave all these comments down below, blah, blah, blah. I'm still faster than you. And if you're faster than me, then I'll just blame it on my mountain bike shoes. <laughs> anyway. There you go, just get mountain bike shoes, easy to walk around, the cleats last so much longer, it's better if your knees because you get more float, you got more lateral float there. Uh, you can corner better because you've got better clearance. When you go to the corners, you've got less, less clearance there. It's just, it's just better and less, less resources you're throwing to landfill because you've got these plastic cleats that break or slip or crack or wear out from walking around. It's just like money in the bin, resources in the landfill, it's just pointless. The road shoe is pointless, the road shoe is pedal is pointless. If you were gonna use road shoes, if someone put a gun to my head, then I'd probably use Kiwin because they're super light, cleats last the longest, less resources to throw out. Otherwise, mountain bike shoes for the win, mountain bike pedals for the win, Shimano XT or XTR, race or trail pedal. These are good ones if you're into new into cycling as well. The Shimano A530, hopefully that zooms in okay. You've got flat side for your sneaker, and then for your clippings. These are great entry level pedal with good quality bearing. So if you wanna get into clippings, get these, start with these, and you can just ride around town. Great for, you know, and that's one something a little bit lighter because you're racing Chris Froome on Strava up Doyce Tep, then these ones are good as well. But anyway, no one got dropped because they had mountain bike shoes. No one got dropped because they had Shimano A530s in their bike, all right? But people do get dropped because they didn't have clicking pedals and didn't get enough power to the pedal, all right? Or the tires were flat. Or the seat was too high, or the seat was too low. Get a bike fit, close enough's good enough. Mark your measurements. If you got any questions, hit me up down below. Hopefully this ends the debate. 
Road shoes versus mountain bike shoes. Mountain bike shoes win every time, all right? You don't have to agree with me, but you're still wrong. Go and spend big money on your mountain bike shoes and your cleats, and let's say you walk around like a penguin at the cafe and slip over. I'll be on my mountain bike shoes, loving it. Another thing, join my Facebook group. I'll link down below. 50 bucks, unlimited coaching with Drew and Rider on a Facebook group, private Facebook group, all your questions answered. Let's say a new market for a new bike or new product, and you're not so sure if it's a ripoff or whatever, you can ask me my honest opinion. I don't know many people in the industry who have much more experience than I do. I'm a bike geek, tech geek. All right. There's so much about product, what's good, what's shit, what's legit. Always buying new products, reviewing them. This new brain shock, so far. And wait for warranty. Uh, but yeah, so join the Facebook group or link down below and you can ask me one on one questions every single time you can answer. 50 bucks unlimited forever. Not 50 bucks a month, 50 bucks a week, 50 bucks lifetime. All right, 50 bucks, one payment, you're done. Sounds salesy, but I'll give you the best advice, best value. No one can beat it. That's my guarantee. Carbs, can't the fuck up motherfuckers. Carb the fuck up corn, rice, potatoes, yams, bananas, mangoes, dates, plantain, melons, blueberries, blackberries, moles. Get them motherfucking carbohydrates in. Go vegan motherfuckers. Cut the fuck up the fuck up the fuck up.